Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More, standing outside one of my recently completed fix and flips. Um, bought this house for $130,000. We'll be listing it here soon for $230,000 and spent about $40,000 on the rehab in that price range. So we'll take a look. Make sure you check out investformore.com for more information on my flips, what's going on with me. I have 17 flips going again. So um, it'd be nice to get some of these sold. I have four under contract to sell. Another couple more I'm buying in the next two weeks as well. So we'll check out this house. Redid the floors, paint, trim, doors. Um, you can see some tape marks on the walls. Not quite finished, we've gotta have the contractor come back, touch up some paint, some different things. And we forgot the blue tape, so we used electrical tape. <laughs> Here's the dining room. All new kitchen. New cabinets, new countertops. The appliances are coming today. So they're actually supposed to be here in about five minutes. We'll see if they get here. So those will be stainless steel. We'll get those installed today. Stove, dishwasher, microwave. Back here, the house has three bedrooms upstairs. Here's one of those bedrooms. New light fixtures. The house already had new windows but we had to fix a couple of them. Here's the other bedroom back here. Those are the new doors. New carpet. And the third bedroom. All right, here's the bathroom we redid. Get the light on. There so there's the New tile, new vanity, faucet, mirror, medicine cabinet, new tile around the shower, new tub, all that's brand new. All right, and we will head downstairs to the basement. You can see my tape, that whole wall needs repainted. <laughs> In this house, the biggest issue, why I got it so cheap, is an MLS deal listed for sale for, oh, what was it, 150? I think we offered 130 or, I'd have to look at the details, but we got it for 130. This wall back here, this is all unfinished down here, um, had moved about four inches. So they had some serious foundation problems. We had to come in, build an entirely new sister wall all along what that would be the south wall. So that was about, I think, $9,000. Had to build it out a little bit this way as well. So once we did that, um, it looked kind of funky. So we decided just to finish off a bedroom here. So there's your egress window for the bedroom. There's the closet. Kind of weird how the, most of the space is over here, but that worked out the best to give people the most room for the um, bed, furniture, all that. And then once we finish this off, we're like, well, it seems kind of stupid to walk through an unfinished part. So we end up finishing off this family room as well. So we basically finished most of the basement, um, at a lot more square footage. And that's one reason why the price is gonna be, you know, close to 230, where when I first bought it, I thought it would be around 205, 210. Here's the other bathroom. So this bathroom, all brand new, nothing here before. So all new tile, fixtures, everything there. All right, and here's the utility room. Got to get a lot of this stuff cleaned out. We'll get that taken care of today. There's where your laundry is in the basement. Not the best location, but no other choice in this house. Um, furnace was okay. New hot water heater, and then we added air conditioning as well. So it's got new central air conditioning. So this house will be listed here today, probably tomorrow actually. Um, like I said, around 2.30, don't have an exact price yet. Um, very few houses for sale in this area. Should sell rather quick. And then um, we can move on to fixing some of our other properties. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and be sure to check out investformore.com for more information.